Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video over here on the channel. We've been doing this for a little bit now. I've really been enjoying uh, making these videos for you guys. I've been enjoying hearing the feedback, uh, the messages I've been receiving um, for different friends and family about these videos. If you guys are brand new here, please think about hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me uh, grow this channel. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. And for you guys that have been coming around for some time now watching the videos, I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Uh, please comment down below who's tuning in, where you guys are tuning in from. I'd love to hear from you guys, see who's watching these videos. Again, thank you for the massive support. Please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit like, share it with your friends and family. And again, I hope you all enjoy this video. Hey guys, once again, welcome back. Today, we're just going to focus around one verse. And I think this one verse has a lot of power in our lives. And that verse is John 3.30. It states, he must become greater, I must become less. And what does that mean? Well, he should always be the biggest factor in our life. He should always be first. And a lot of times we allow our desires and our plans, our wants and our wishes to really kind of take the spot of his desires and his plans for us. So we must allow him to be play a greater role in our life, really follow what he has set out for us instead of what uh, we want in our hearts. And... I just want to discuss three little areas in my life where I had uh, to make this change. And when I made this change, I've seen amazing thing happen. And the first area in my life that I needed to change that and allow him to become greater was in my job and my career. I was working at a detention center as a detention officer for about a year. I really thought that that's where I was wanting to be. You know, I was going to continue down the road to law enforcement. I was going to progress through that. And it was shortly after that I just found out that my heart was troubled in. That's not where I really wanted to be. And I started praying and praying for ways out of there. I just, I wanted to get out of that job so bad. I didn't want to continue going to work. I dealt with anxiety, depression, whatever. Just struggling to want to go to work. And I started just applying for all these jobs. I didn't care if it was less money or something I didn't want to do. I just wanted to know. And job rejection after job rejection or just not hearing nothing back I started to realize huh maybe I need to slow down maybe there's something God intended me to be here for and it, when I did that it really started opening things up I realized that I was meant to grow in that position I was I was doing a lot of ministry to um, the people in the job uh, trying to make changes and they were teaching me things in my life and you just overall through that those hard times and those darkness you were, you were growing in yourself you were learning you were drawing nearer to God and through that job I ended up getting saved I thought my whole life I was saved I believed that I believed in God and everything but I didn't know what it was to be saved and finally breaking down and going through those hard times and finally surrendering to him I knew what it was to be saved and when I started just surrendering that control to him and just understanding hey God has a plan for me in this job and when it's fulfilled if there's something meant for me on the other side, I'll end up, uh, he'll end up showing it to me. And surely enough, shortly after, I end up getting blessed with this job I had been looking for. And it came at a really good time. And it just all fell together. Then I started the job I'm currently in. And I've been doing it for some time now. And I started to get bored of the job and started to want to branch out again and find another avenue, find another career. And my heart was telling me, okay, I really want this job. I want to pursue this job. I want to pursue this job. This is where I want to be. But it, I felt my heart tugging like, hey, put in for this position within your job for a promotion. Put it in there. And so I did both. And I didn't think of anything about the promotion. I put that to the back door and said, hmm, you know, whatever about that. You know, it's a good learning experience. I don't care about that. I'm going to be leaving for this new job. All of a sudden, I ended up getting promoted, and it kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. And then I saw that job that my heart wanted start to kind of fade away and not really be a thing anymore. And me taking that promotion, me falling into that promotion, really opened up my life to be able to start the family I now have. So if I kept trying to go down where my heart was going, who knows where I could have been, but... Again, backing off and just listening. And I was doing it subconsciously, listening to God by putting him for the promotion. You 
you allow to walk into that what he's calling you to do and the path he's wanting you to do and I'm grateful that I took it and now the second point I want to talk about or the second area in my life that I really need to make this change of him being greater and me being less was in my finances and this kind of played a role in my my jobs too so these two points kind of go hand in hand I was when I took the new job I took I was leaving a full-time job into a part-time job and I had to trust that he was going to provide even though it was part-time I knew there's full-time positions available down the road if I worked there so long I could get one of them but through that time I had to just trust him and knowing that he's calling me to go this route so I need to trust in him that no matter how many hours of work he's going to provide and it was I was part-time for six months and I was making ends better than when I was in my full-time job and that could be because I started tithing. I started surrendering my finances back to him. I stopped trying to control myself because when I was trying to control myself, I, I'll tell you it was a mess. No matter what I did, I'd try and save. I'd try to spend less here. And no matter what I did, ends still weren't meeting. And what made it real for me that I needed to start tithing was when I went for the interview for this job I'm now currently sitting. So this part-time job that I was going for. I went to the interview and got... Uh, a favorable um, interview so to speak they they offered me a job the conditional offer as long as I passed everything else and so we went out for lunch after that and we were eating at Cracker Barrel and there was this older couple sitting next to us and something just came upon me was telling me just to pay for their food it came out of nowhere and it was without a question in my mind I said hey I called the waitress over and I was like, hey, I want to, you know, we want to pay for their food. And I told my wife, like, hey, you know, just trust me on this. You know, we we're, we were still in that bad spot financially, but God was speaking to me, pay for this family's lunch. So the waitress comes over, I tell her what I want to do, and she said, okay, great. And we paid for their food, and their food came out to be around $25, I think. And it was, we were on our way home. And we were waiting to see if we had got paid because we needed groceries in the house. And we looked and we noticed there was a, a deposit in there that we didn't know where it came from. And it was actually from the IRS. They had shorted us in our taxes. So we ended up getting $250 back in taxes that we didn't plan on or didn't forecast getting. And that was in the same day. This was in a matter of an hour time frame, if I remember correctly. And like I mentioned before, it was $25 we paid for. So what's 25 to 250? 10%. And that's all we're called to tithe is 10% of our income. And that just really clicked to me that if I just listen to God and follow God and what he guides us to do in our finances, that I'm going to be better set up. And it just ended up really working out. And then again, that you trust the process through the time. You trust him anytime he tells you, like, hey, pay for this. Do this with your finances. You know, don't pay for this. Buy this. And you can see that just anywhere, you know, buying a car, buying a house, whatever it is. As long as we pray and seek his guidance in there, he's going to give us an answer. It might not be the answer we want, but we're going to get an answer. And when we just follow his answer and not our answers, we it turns out a whole lot better. And... It's just, it's amazing how when we allow God to be greater in our lives, the things that can change. So just that little experience there taught me, maybe I need to start tithing and giving it back to him because that's what we're called to do all along. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this job. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have these finances. So all we're doing is giving him back a percentage of what he gave us. And then the third and final thing I want to talk about and the third and final point is in my personal life and free time. I have a lot of hobbies I like to do, and I like to be involved in the church, and I like to volunteer and stuff like that. I wanted to get more involved in the church. And at the church I go to, they have this position, and you're you know, a guardian team, you know, you're pretty much security in the church. And I was like, yeah, I want to do that, you know, coming from the military and law enforcement. I was like, yeah, you know, that seems cool. That's really going to fit me, you know, that's right down my alley. And I kept pursuing it, and God kept giving me little hints along the way, just dropping them, saying, this is not 
this is not for you, this is not where you're going to be. But I kept charging ahead, I kept wanting to do it. And went to this event at the church where they had all their small groups in different areas where you can volunteer. And I ended up bumping into an unlikely person that for a, a position or to volunteer in a group that I never thought I'd be interested in, and that was production. I'm terrible with technology. I'm recording off my cell phone, and I'm still learning editing, so you guys got any tips, please feel free to let me know. But God told me to go speak to this person, and I spoke to him. I instantly felt connected right in, and I had spoke to a different a couple different groups that night and I didn't feel connected but this one just stood out to me and really connected in and now I've been in that group for some time and this is a group of some of the greatest people I know and they they really help grow you and you grow them and just together it's a great thing and it was by listening to him listening to that voice of go talk to this person that it really changed that because my heart was going somewhere else but he was telling my heart it needed something else so Again, it was setting aside what I wanted and what he was telling me to do. And a lot of times you do this subconsciously. I do, you don't even think about it. You don't even realize it until maybe a day, a week, a month, years later. Then you can turn around and stop and be like, huh, that was him. He guided it. And you, you look at the subtle hints that he was giving you and the little nudges towards his path that he was pushing you to. And that, like I said, you just don't really realize it. So, again, in my personal life, I had to bring him in, allow him to be in my personal life, let him fill that downtime I had that I was wanting to fill, praying to him, hey, God, you know, use me the way you want to use. And that's now a prayer that I pray almost every morning. Use you or use me in whatever capacity you need me to be used today. Let me touch the people you need me to touch. And it's the, the same thing with this video. I struggle um, I'm looking at the numbers sometimes. I focus so much on the numbers and wanted to see these videos get a lot of views and likes and stuff like that, but maybe it wasn't intended to, to reach 100 people. Maybe it was intended intended to reach the, the four people that watched. And again, by understanding that that's what he wants, you're walking down a better path. So just to kind of wrap it all together here, just to recover what we talked about. He must become greater, I must become what? John 3.30. To make ways for his plans, a lot of times we have to set aside our plans. And as I've gotten older, I, I've learned that that's the best thing to do. I can take my desires away and let God feel, you know, walk into God's desires because that's what's best for me in my life. That's what's going to lead me to the fullest life. And I'd rather walk down a path that's already been paved out, that has someone looking out for me the whole way that I already knows every step I'm going to take, every direction I'm going to turn, it's already all mapped out. And versus the path that I'm going to walk blindly into, I don't know what's there. I don't have protection and everything like that. So again, I'm going to rather walk down his path versus my own. So if you want, comment down below. Let me know the areas in your life that you maybe need to make these changes or you have made these changes. As changes. And I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, in that aspect and again if you like this video please uh, give it a like if you haven't yet subscribe share this with your friends and family uh, if you guys need any prayers anywhere in your life I'm gonna link uh, the, the I'm gonna link sorry about that brain fart I'm gonna link my Instagram page that's dedicated to this channel here down in the description so if you got any prayers uh, go f feel free to uh, message me over there let me know what you're thinking what you need pray for I'd be happy to do that I'd love to connect with you guys uh, also, go follow there. I post uh, different snap snippets of uh, things I write, you know, poetry and stuff like that. So go check that out. Again, I appreciate all the support. I really hope you guys stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless you.